Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC presents Comedy Appetizers, a podcast where you will find short comedy sets, stories, and funny bits from the famous and not so famous. Here is your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another bonus episode, An Audience of One. And boy, we got a treat out of Southern Florida, a very funny guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Peter Fogel. <laughs> Peter, thanks for joining us on this special bonus episode. I hear you got some uh, funny for us. You got some jokes? Oh, yeah. I have a new workout routine. For cardio, I do 30 minutes on the treadmill. And for resistance training, I call my ex and try to reason with her. <laughs> I've been there. Wait, I got more of them, baby. I got more of them. Oh, I basically, uh, oh, this is, this is from Florida. Matt Gates dates underage women. Really? At my age, to me, an underage woman in Florida is 45. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of an age difference in Florida, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's honestly, you find a woman who's 45 years old. I figured out my true calling. I'm writing myself out to women as an emotional support boyfriend. Oh. It's a lot easier. You look great. You're not fat. Those jeans look wonderful on you. You go, girl. <laughs> emotional support. There you go. Now that sounds like a job uh, in Florida. <laughs> yeah, emotional support. That's what women want, emotional support boyfriend. Here's some other stuff that uh, I recently went to a QAnon meeting thinking it was an Al-Anon meeting. <laughs> but in reality... I don't even have a drinking problem. I was just there for the stage time. <laughs> well, that sounds like every comic I know. There's a stage. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, do, oh, I didn't tell you this, Scott. They're doing a remake of the iconic film, 12 Angry Men. The Florida version is called Condo Board. All right. Yeah, 12 Angry Andy. Men, Condo oh. Board. <laughs> yeah, because... They have HOA boards in Florida at the communities, and they're always pissed off, so it's called condo board. That's the joke that gets a big laugh in Florida. It's more of a Floridian joke because it's condo board. Hey, we got listeners in Florida. They'll get it. Oh, yeah. They just rewrote Beckett's iconic play for the Florida audiences. It's called Waiting for Test Results. (laughs) Waiting for Test Results. Waiting with that's the problem. When you live in Florida, you start writing comedy to your audiences. It's sure. knowing your audience. Well, now, did, now, a lot of people don't know about me. No, I was going to say, I heard that you were also successful on cruise ships. Yes, I am known uh, in 1986. I did a cruise ship and someone started this rumor. Now, again, I was 28 years old performing for elderly people, seniors in their 80s, and I wasn't very good. And I got I got fired, which most comics do. They get fired off of cruise ships. That's just part of the business. This is going back 35 years. So cruise ended. I got off. Another comedian came on, Joey Villa. Big time Vegas act. I was depressed. Hey, kid, don't worry about it. It happens to everybody. So I got off the cruise ship, and I, I, they, they didn't give me the second week. But some comedian made came up with a story that said Peter Fogel did this joke on the cruise line. Hey, folks. Can I recommend a great drink for you? It's called the Klinghopper. It's two shots and a splash. Now, if you remember back in 1986, the Akio Laro was a a cruise ship that got taken over by Palestinians. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Big news. And they killed Leon. They called they killed Leon Klinghopper and threw him overboard. So some comic came up with a story. You hear what Fogel did? He got fired off the cruise ship. He looked at the audience and said, can I recommend the Klinghopper drink? It's two shots in a splash. <laughs> and the story went on is that the audience was so enraged, they rushed me on stage. Elderly people with walkers and wheelchairs, they're coming at me like the, the town people from the Frankenstein movie. I was thrown <laughs> into, the, into the brig for my own protection. And then the next day, I was helicoptered off the cruise ship for my safety. And that story has been going on for 35 years. If I got a nickel for every time that story was told, Scott Edwards, I could have bought you out and your club. <laughs> Everyone thinks that I was airlifted off a cruise ship. Some comic stuff, it's not, they don't, they barely want to pay your airfare onto the cruise ship. They're not airlifting a comic <laughs> off a cruise ship for a stupid joke. And oh. people really thought I, a helicopter came 
and a ladder was descended, and I called up the ladder. They gave me my bags, and I was airlifted to the mainland. They really <laughs> believed that I was airlifted. I, you can ask any com- comics come up to me today. Open micers that heard that story, Scott Edwards. Never happened. But in fact, let me tell you something. Whatever, it was a mag- it was a newspaper for comics. And they called me up. It was out of San Francisco. They go, we want to talk about comedians that were censored. Did you do a joke on the cruise ship saying two shots in the flesh? I should have said yes, just for the state, just for the article. Hey, the bad press is good happened. press, right? Yeah, bad, bad. But I didn't know back then. I was 28 years old. I said, well, I don't want to tell the truth. Who wants to admit that they were fired off a cruise ship? But the story was so, ask any comic, Smirnoff, they all know the story. Oh. Was air, and the punchline is, Vogel was airlifted off a cruise ship. Oh, yeah, I had heard Stein that story. Found, well, that, ladies and gentlemen, that, funny? that is funny stuff from Peter Fogel out of South Florida. Thank you, Peter, for doing our special bonus episode of An Audience of One. Hey, everybody, stay tuned because there's a great interview with Peter coming up later on. Hey, thanks, Peter, for doing this. My pleasure. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you this Sunday. We'll have another great show. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Comedy Appetizers. Be sure to share with family and friends, and we will see you this Sunday for our regular podcast, your host and MC, and again next Friday for another episode of Comedy Appetizers. Bye!